Hi there, thank you very much for joining me on this week's episode of Love Code on YouTube. Happy Father's Day to you and everyone out there. Um, today being Father's Day, I just thought I would do something slightly different from the usual pattern. Uh, talk about something that might not be you know, extremely popular, it might not concern everybody, but definitely concerns a lot of families. Now, there are dads out there who still have a lot of youth in them. Uh, they probably have an Xbox at home or a PlayStation, <laughs> you know, one of those consoles and they're, they're playing video games. Now, and the wife is complaining that, okay, it looks like this guy loves um, this video game more than me or even the kids. Is that the case? Let's look at that today. All right, so today what I'm going to try to do is to talk about this from the point of view of a guy who is in that situation. Now, I have a PlayStation 4 um, at home, uh, but for me, I don't play fighting games or any of those things. The only game I really play is, is FIFA. Uh, FIFA is a soccer game. Uh, if you're in North America, if you're, if you're in other parts of the world, it's football. Uh, it's just a football game, basically, but it can be time-consuming. I, I agree with that. It can be quite demanding. It's, it is... Uh, because you get into all this series and you're playing a season and game after game and you're looking forward to the end and you just you forget that the reality of the time that you're spending on that. So it's definitely a valid argument for ladies to feel like it's taking too much time, right? So where, how do we find the balance? What is, what, what is the compromise that can be reached in this? Now, the first thing that I would like to mention is that for a lot of guys, especially Christian guys, who don't have, you know, other habits they don't they don't smoke they don't drink they don't womanize they don't do any of those things so for a lot of them the gaming is their only escape is their only form of entertainment as it were right a lot of these guys you know don't are not even active on social media or have large following and all of those things that keep them busy so they just see uh, video games as an escape route right to just entertain themselves maybe they come back from work and they just want to spend some time you know gaming with their bodies online and shooting people you know virtually and all of those things right even though i don't do any of those things i don't even know how to play any fighting games uh, i don't play online as well i think i've only only ever played online with one or one or two people uh, once or twice you know and, and that is soccer you know playing FIFA online I don't I don't do it because the timing just wouldn't work right then you have to commit to a certain time and all of that you want to put your family into consideration when you're doing this and know that your actions affects more than you when you become a husband when you become a father it affects everything you do affects not just you now I mean when you were a bachelor you could you could play video games all night long right uh, I won't say I've not been guilty of that before, <laughs> you know, when, it, when it's just you and it's a Friday and you're not going anywhere on Saturday. I mean, you just keep playing until you, you're knocked out, until your eyes are, are, are dim and you're, you're extremely tired. But you can't do that when you become a married man. You have to bear in mind that there are other people watching you and your wife is suffering for it now. So let's look at this from, from both angles and see where we can find the balance. Now, like I said, for a man who doesn't do any of these other things, when the wife tries to deny him of that, you know, one thing that he considers his only source of entertainment, it almost becomes selfish. Uh, it, it looks like she's just depriving him of this one thing where she has, you know, other things that she can also do in her own spare time. So it, it, the, it, the man can consider it as, as a selfish thing that the woman is trying to do. So you need to bear this in mind and you, you really need to first and foremost have a conversation about this. Talk about it. Don't just assume, right? Don't just see him playing video games and every time he starts to play the video games, your mood changes and you start to act in a, in a certain way to him. Talk about it. Have a conversation about it. Say, you know, uh, darling, this video game that you're you are playing, it's affecting me in this way, in that way, and, that, and then he understands that. Now, the other thing I wanted to say is that I know couples who also play together, right? Where whatever the, the, the wife is, the husband is playing, she he will teach her how to play the game and they can play the game together. Right? I know not all husbands feel like their wives are competitive enough in that sense, but this is where compromise comes into it, right? Where you have to be mindful of not being selfish, just to know that you need to involve her in whatever you are doing, okay? So that's, that's, that's an option. You can play this game together, you can talk about you know, what you need to do, how you can do it in a way that both of you enjoy, enjoy it together. And you, you're not just playing with your friends, where she doesn't know who you're, you're gaming with, or who your, your friends are but if it's hard that you you guys play together then it's a totally different thing now there is also the possibility of you having a conversation while you are gaming while you are gaming right where 
you know, the, the big thing about this for women is that they, they want your attention. They want your full attention. They don't want to see your attention as being divided, right? But there's, you, there, you can reach a compromise about that where you're, you're playing and you're talking, you know, about, you know, how, how was your day? How, how, how does this go? You know, what's going on? Those things are still okay. But when the conversation becomes um, serious, like he's asking you something really important, there's nothing wrong in pausing the game. The game has a pause function that you can press and it, it holds it for you, okay? <laughs> right where you left it. And you can finish that conversation. Just give her attention, let her know. And then when she wanders off or she's doing something else or she, you know, she dozes off or she's, she's done talking, expressing herself, then you can carry on with it. You know, the other thing that you can do is to have a time for this, a time that does not conflict with with our own time you know maybe on your days off if you are alone at home at that time you can move other activities to a time when everybody's home and then if it's so important to you you know make sure that you, you put it in a time where it doesn't conflict with other the things that she wants to do with you or you or you being around available as a father for your kids and talking to them and you know being aware of what they're doing and then every session you need to time yourself you're no longer a kid as it were right and a time is coming when you will have to give it up completely i'm coming to terms with that myself i'm spending less and less time you know every time doing uh, playing soccer and which is just an escape it's just a way of you know getting into a fantasy world where you're managing a, a soccer team there's no 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 cost to it no risk whatsoever you know you just do what you like and have some fun spend a lot of money you know buying players millions and millions of pounds <laughs> that you don't really have you know and all of that so it's just a, a fun way of, of entertainment but you 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 will find out that as your as your purpose continues to come into the fore you will, you start spending less and less time with it so you need to start now by timing yourself make sure that you don't spend you know too much time on it if if the, what you can do is an hour do that and, and get it over with, you know, and give her the attention that she requires. Uh, the other thing there is don't do it before you have done what she considers important. So if, if I mean, if you, you know, you're the type that is waking up in the morning and you are, the first thing you are doing in the morning is video games, that's completely not okay. You are a father, you are not a kid, okay? You should be setting a good example for your kids. So don't, don't wake up in the morning and jump into your video games like that is I know you played all, all night and you woke up in the morning thinking of the next moves you are going to do but you have to keep that for a later time start in the morning by doing what a, a father should do a Christian father set a good example for your kids and all of that and don't let her see you doing playing the video games when you haven't done the things that are important right so not that you have a project at hand or you have an assignment to complete you know something that is that's going on or she has you to help the kids with something and you haven't done that but you're just playing video games those are the things that get to women and upset them and make them feel like you don't have time for them or you don't consider them important enough so this is extremely important when you look through the bible the the main theme in in this is moderation moderation first timothy 2 verse 9 when the bible talks about women and dressing it talks about you know let it let everything be done in moderation first corinthians 14 verse 40 you know also speaks about moderation there the one that I really like is Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 in the Living Bible. I think I should read this one to you. Here is what it says. Let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. <laughs> it's so interesting. It says let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do. So this, this really, really applies here that you, you need to just be considerate and let it be be known let your moderation be known you know as it were let it be obvious that you are being considerate we talked about first corinthians 14 verse 40 let your let everything be done decently and in order let your moderation be known to all men let this thing be clear don't don't go into excess there's there's no sin you know in in playing video games but anything you do too much of anything you do to the detriment of other important things has become a sin for you and if it is causing your wife you know to stumble to to making her angry and upset it's becoming a problem for you in that way okay so if it's, it's it's causing a problem in your marriage and it's looking you know like a challenge then you want to look at that and and put you know put some checks now when you're having a conversation around this don't be defensive hear her out right and find out what she what she wants and how she feels about it what what exactly is the issue 
okay, and don't just go all, all defensive, you know, why are you attacking me, uh, what, what am I doing wrong, you know, but listen to her and find out what it is that she is really, really thinking, and you guys can find a common ground and, and reach a balance here. So the bottom line here is that your, your kids, your wife, they just want your attention, that's all. So don't see it as, as, a, as a form of attack. And for ladies, don't see this video now. You send the link to your husband and say, "Yeah, you see, you see, a man is saying this now. You see, so it's not about that, right? But you, you just need to to reach a compromise, talk together, and you know, and talk about this. Uh, don't deny him of that. It might be the only thing that is you know keeping him away from from <laughs> the things that you would not want him to be engaged in. So don't deny him of it completely. But you guys need to just find a balance around it and talk about it, you know, some more express yourself let him know your expectations uh, of him as a father as a husband and the things that you, you desire I know you, you want the best for him so that's the reason why you're concerned about this so let him know that for the guy the bottom line is she just wants to know that she's more important than the video game and she's more important than your friends that you're gaming with online so prove that to her with your actions not just with your words okay and you, your gaming would have to be something that happens secondarily something that you know happens on the side while your husband and your wife uh, depending on which side of this you fall into uh, remain your priority so at the end of the day wisdom is profitable to direct that is the bottom line of this okay thank you very much for watching the video today uh, hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your notifications so that you know when I have a new video out I usually have new videos out on Sundays at 6 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Thank you once again for watching. Happy Father's Day. Make sure you do something uh, beautiful for the dad in your life if you haven't done that. Until I see you next week, God bless you.